So we also have customers that move down from up north and they have not experienced heat pumps very often. They're used to gas units, which I'm a huge fan of as well because there's a lot of safety devices built into gas. But the temperature that's coming out of gas systems can range anywhere from 125 to 135 degrees, uh, which is definitely warm to your body. You're around 98 degrees. So with a heat pump, it's gonna blow out roughly 80 to 88 degrees of air, which feels cold to you, but that's because you're 98. When your set temperature is 72 in the home and it's 40 or 38 degrees outside, you're actually still heating the home, but it feels cold to you. So they'll move down from up north, they'll feel that cold air blowing on them and they think their system's not working. And the first question I ask is, is it maintaining temperature in the home? Because that's the first question you wanna ask yourself. Is it achieving that set temperature I have? And am I asking it to do too much? So some customers will, when it gets colder, they'll try to turn it up even higher. Or if it gets hotter outside, they'll try to turn it even lower. Because when you get in your car, the first thing you wanna do is turn it all the way to the coldest setting and max AC and full blown fan. But if you noticed in most of your modern cars, if you set it to auto, it'll barely blow that fan. That's actually creating more efficiency. You're giving the coils time to create that temperature transfer and then exchanging the air. Um, so, you know, it, it is pretty funny to see some customers go and, you know, when it's 98 degrees and real feels 117, well, I cranked it down to 66 and it's not getting any cooler, but then we get there and it's 70 degrees in the home and we're like, hey, your system is doing a great job, you know? I'd love to take your money, but I, I would hope that I can earn it.